have a quick word for someone, and I don't know all the specifics, um, but God is, sh is sharing with me that there is somebody who is um, involved in a court case um, where it looks like they are going to possibly have to do time for a, a crime committed, but God is saying that you are, you or your friends or whomever, your family member, um, that the court is going to rule in their favor. The judgment of the court, the, the, the judgment of the judge, if you will, is going to be in their favor. Um, I don't know the specifics. I don't know what the person did. I don't know if they're already currently in jail or if they are going to be going to jail. I don't know the specifics at all. But God is saying that his attorney is bringing evidence that's going to exonerate that person, okay? He's saying that they're going to be absolved of all blame, fault, or wrongdoing, especially after due consideration of the case. Okay, now this is not for somebody who did whatever they're being accused of. This is for somebody who is being wrongfully accused. This is for someone who the, um, the plaintiff, if you will, yeah, the plaintiff um, is being deceitful. And they have evidence, okay, yes, they have evidence that they thought was gonna condemn that person and seal their fate, but it's actually going to prove their innocence. Um, and then I thought of innocent until proven guilty. Uh, they won't be able to prove guilt because there is none. And then I heard the words cleared, freed, released, liberated, excused, acquitted of all charges. God says, I will vindicate. I will discharge or remove all charges. Uh, vindicate means to judge righteousness, to decide to rule and govern, to avenge, uh, avenge or to defend. God is our righteous defender, okay? Your case is in litigation. That's that, that's what I heard. Um, and I had to look that word up. I knew what it meant, but I still like to look words up. Um, and that means that it is being decided in a court of law. We're talking about um, someone going through something here in a physical court of law, but it's God in the court of heaven, in the courts of heaven, that is your defender, and he's standing up for you. He's bringing about a righteous judgment for what these people have said. These people have slandered you. These people have lied. They have used deceitful tactics to try to put you behind bars, maybe because they couldn't find the person who really did it. Maybe they are the person who really did it. I don't know um, the circumstances, but whatever it is, it has been a dishonest, deceitful thing that they are doing. And God says, because of this, he is going to vindicate you, okay? He says, I had to look up some scriptures. Psalms 26 and 1 says, Vindicate me, O Lord. I want you to pray these. Whoever this is for, if this is for you, if this is for someone that you know, pray this for them. Have them pray this if possible. If not, if possible, have them pray this, okay? Psalm 26 and 1, Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have also trusted in the Lord. I shall not slip. Psalm 35 and 24, Vindicate me, O my God, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Psalm 43 and 1, vindicate me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. O deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man. Psalm 54 and 1, save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your strength. So again, I'm not exactly sure who this is for, but if this is your situation or the situation of someone that you know, share this video with them, share this word with them, give them these scriptures, Psalm 26 and 1, Psalm 35 and 24, Psalm 43 and 1, and Psalm 54 and 1. You are vindicated by God. He is our great defender, and no matter what someone is saying about you that is untrue, he is going to vindicate you of all charges. Amen.